Hey there, puppy lovers. Today I have Cello with me. I just gave him his bath. He is extremely stressed out. This dog is always panting and panting fast. So he does take medication to try to calm him down a bit. <laughs> For those who don't know me, I'm Elizabeth Jen, professional dog groomer since 2010. Guys, we have a situation here where the dog has a whole bunch of debris under his eye, and as you notice, I tried to pull it out. You can't pull it out, right? So what do you do when you can't pull it out? You gotta cut. But I'm going to try to loosen it up as much as I can without really pulling hard. So I don't want to catch that skin underneath. So I'm going to go right underneath. And I'm going to go in, just open my scissors just a little bit, and go catch that, and then pull on it. If I'm pulling on it, and I pull on it, and just snip slightly. I don't want to just go in and chomp, right? Because it's too close to the hair, to the skin. So by pulling it away, opening it, your scissors up just a little bit, and then pulling it away and then snipping lightly, you're going to cut a few of those hairs. And then instead of continuing to cut, I'm going to try in, I try to come in and do this. So I have enough space here. See how that's space? So I can do the same thing. You open up just a little bit, your scissors, come in and pull on it. And as you're, oops, there you go. As you're pulling on it, you can cut that. So you got some of this stuff here, like that, and some of that other stuff too. There's this stuff too. There you go. All right. Okay. So let's try the other side. Coming back in here. See, I can only pull a little bit. It won't come out. So we're gonna pull just lightly, lightly pulling, just to make space between the debris and the eye. Ooh, I got some on my finger. So I'm gonna open up my scissors just lightly like that, come in and pull on that debris, and snip right where that debris is, okay? You don't wanna come in and just snip where you want, you know? He has a lot of matting in there. So I'm gonna continue on, we're gonna wash his ears, I'm gonna clean his ears, and check out the bum to see if there's any debris back there, and we're moving on. Just so you know, I upload a new video every Monday and Friday, 8 a.m. And I'm also live on Wednesdays, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. I hope you enjoy this video. Remember guys, respect, comfort, and safety before vanity. Happy grooming. going to need some good brushing here. So I'm going to first put this away here. I always add a little bit of alcohol. Oh, before doing that, yeah, his bum. I saw his bum a while ago. He's got a little bit of debris back there. So this is how I get it done. Come in with this little comb here. There's even knots. So I use these little snippy scissors here. They're the little happy puppies from Kenshi. And I'm careful with that area. I do not want to cut. Whoa, it's right on. And I add alcohol afterwards. Like that. All right, so he's got some brushing to do today. He's not, I mean, he's knotted up here, but it comes off fairly easy. Fairly, fairly easy. He places He's going to need brushing. I'm seeing it's around his tail here. Some dematting. 
And I added, as you saw, I was adding some of this stuff here, some um, leave-in conditioner. It helps with the brushing. So I'm going to try to get that out. You see, I'm brushing with this brush. This does not scratch the skin. Doo -doo. Let's see what goes on here. Can we do this with this? This is the wet brush. Yeah, I got some of that out. And I like to do a little bit of brushing like this before drying because I like to separate all of that hair. We'll come back in afterwards. And see how nervous and stressed out he is? So that means move him slowly. Once I've moved him, he calms down, and then we can continue. Got like a cotton like hair under there. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna move on. And if your dog's stressed like this, he's crouching down, you just place him the way the way you need to place him. Hold him, stop and wait. Uh, are you okay, Tana? Why are you so nervous when you can't see me for the moving time? Huh? Poor so little boy. I'm so nervous. I'm such a nervous puppy. You just just kind of want to tell him that he's going to be okay. He's going to survive. You are going to survive this boy. All of this here, there's a lot of nodding in there. But it's coming out fairly good, so. I'm not going to like it. I'm going to try to. No, I can't go in there with the dryer. He won't even do that. But I do have my other dryer that I'm going to use. Just this. Look at that, Matt. We may need to cut some of that out, honey. All right. Let's get him dry.
You know what? That's going to be enough drying for him. Uh, enough drying for him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the rest dry on its own. I want him off this table as fast as I can get him off the table. Because I don't want this stress and anxiety for him at all. So I am not going to waste my time trying to make things perfect today. I am going to get him done. To be sure that he's healthy and happy. No stress. Okay, honey? No stress. You gotta do Look at that curly tongue. Look at that curly tongue. Look out and massage the ears. Is this going to help? I don't know if you took your medication to help you relax, huh? I'm sorry if you didn't. Did your mama forget that? So I gotta get these knots out quick, quick. And I'm going to actually come in and snip what can't take out because I don't want them. I don't want to do this. Forever. So I'm going to come in and use these little schnitz nibbers. And too bad, if there's a hole there, there's a hole there. Mom's got to brush you out. Yes, she does. She's got to brush you out. Too bad in the sense that I prefer his health above any vanity. Health before vanity. Kindness before vanity, respect before vanity, comfort before vanity. Let's make these puppies comfortable, huh? Yeah. We're, we're coming in in our world and we're doing these things to them. They're not, they're not, you know, necessarily accustomed to or not in their way of being. Okay, is that okay? Guys, he's got so many knots. What are we gonna do? Huh? This is gonna get ponytail. Top knot. Cut, cut. Snip, snip. Brush, brush. There you go. Out, out, out. Get rid of this. Snip, snip. Brush, brush. And out. Okay, I gotta take this off here because I need to. This guy, okay? Relax, honey. Relax, it's okay. Okay, I gotta take all of that out here. So I'm gonna use this knife here, and what I do is I come in. And I do not pull towards me. I pull upwards, pull it out upwards, give it a flick to cut those, and it doesn't pull that way. See, I'm just flicking my flicking up. Best way to take out these kinds of knots. When you come in with your brush, and we are not brushing on the skin, you're pulling up and away from the skin. And there you go. Some up here, so I'm going to continue doing this. Moving on. I can't stress this enough. There's a right way and a wrong way to use these knives. And if you're putting a knife behind and you're pulling, and you're pulling on that knife, that is definitely the wrong way. If this was electric and these blades were going up and down, and you put it behind and then it's going up and down, then you could pull this way. But you can't pull this way because it's not going to cut. It's going to rip it out. So if you're pulling, either holding the knot and cutting this way, he keeps wanting to turn around. So I don't want him to turn. So this is the way I do it, is I'll come in and I'll just pull up, pull up and flick. I know I just showed you, but there's a right way and a wrong way to use these. If you're pulling it up and out, just poking in, pulling up and out, you're getting at those knots without pulling on the skin. And then you tap, 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 
there you go. They're out. Oh, there's some here. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry, honey. Here, up, up and out, up and out. Tap and pull up, okay? Just got a lot up here, huh? All right. We're almost done here. You get your cut started. See, I'm sawing back and forth. If it's too thick, too thick, I gotta hold that down. You better laying down, honey. That's a lot of panting. You're gonna need a lot of water after. You're done, huh? Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you have to go through the wound. You have to. You need your coat cleaned so your skin can be healthy. All right, guys. I'm gonna keep talking to the pup and I'm gonna move on. So there's still a lot of knots on his legs. Oh, darn it all. I don't like him to be this stressed out. I'm gonna just be poking holes in here. Sorry. Yeah. It won't show. It won't show. Not child, it won't show. So he has knots under his arms, that's for sure. Under here, so that needs to be... Oh, no, he's good. Oh, no, he's got some here. So that needs to be taken out with the, um, with the clipper. It's all knotted up on the sides here. Whoa, sneezy. What was that all about? See this, I'm not gonna bother. I'm just not gonna bother with that. He's not gonna have it if I brush too much in here, so I'm gonna take this out. The only reason I'm brushing inside is to try to go get the knots, the little uh, knots out, like after I've cut them. See, so that's a lot easier like that. And it won't show, especially with this type of here. He's got more knots down there. That's going to be done with the clipper. Cut that out. Whoops. Sorry, honey. I didn't mean to yank at that. Woo. All right, we get that down. You see a little more on this side. Ooh. He just doesn't want me to touch him. He'll be like, don't touch me. No, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Oh, I gotta touch you, honey. This. Oh yeah, I got my workout out for me today. I had another one this morning. I did a live video, and uh, oh boy, there were some knots there. Can you come here? Come here. Come here. Wait, wait. I'm gonna give him a little more wiggle room. Wait, wait. Hold on. So I'm at his elbow. Cut this out here too. I'm gonna continue brushing. So we got the tail here. Let me show you guys. See all that? There's no point in brushing that. 
I could use this. I could have used this, chomp chomp on the inside. But then you just want to brush it out and see how it's forgiving. It doesn't even show. It doesn't even show. Especially with these types of coats. It doesn't even show. Tap, lift up, tap, lift up, tap, lift up. Tapping and lifting. All right, he's good to go. All right, let's change sides here so you can see me with nails. All right, Shella. Oh boy, I don't always fold up like that. Look at that tongue. He is going to sleep tonight. Oh, oh. so will I. <laughs> I'm put this up here. Boy, oh boy, honey. What's up? That stresses me out. Huh? I don't like seeing him that stress. So it's good to keep your table nice and clean. Get rid of the things that I don't need. And I'm going to start the room. When they start moving around like that, and they don't want us to cut, they don't want me to cut. You just gotta keep at it. <laughs> In a sense, stop them. Stop them. You hold the play. Hang on, Chella. You wait. You come back in. Wait. Chella. Wait. Come on. You're already stressed enough as it is. I'm not fighting you. Why are you fighting me? I prefer doing his foot upside down like that because I can see that vein. But he won't let me, he won't let me get to his foot here. So if I can't do it that way, I'll have to do it up this way. And look at it this way. It's gonna pull. So what do we do when they pull? Sit them down, tell them no, calm down, feel your foot again, gotta keep trying. Wait. Wait. All of that energy for nothing, honey. All of that for nothing. I'm still getting this done. Oh, this one I had already done. That one I already did that one. All right. Wait, no, no biting, honey. No, 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 no. It's gonna get done, whether you want it or not. You might even bite me, I don't know. Hang on, hang on, sit down. You gotta wait. You do one at a time. Calm them down. See, we got it done. You're okay, you survived. Huh, okay. 
let's get the grooming going. Well, the grooming has been going. I mean, let's get the cut going. I keep saying that. I keep saying, let's start the groom. I mean, let's get the cut. Let's start the cut. Are we ready? Oh, no, yeah, these are, yeah, I'm gonna tie that up. Okie dokie, so what's, what length? 13 millimeter. This is the orange and this on top of a nice 30 blade. And yeah, and a top knot. All right. Two. Sorry. Immediately turn around, honey. He wants to just lay down. I'm going to toss this top knot over to the front. Just the time that I get to cut this. And moving on. fighting me with this here. See how he jerks every time that I bring that in. I'm, I'm just holding his, his head up. I'm not, I'm not choking him. But he does not wish being touched here for some reason. And I guess also the sound of the clipper that's coming in might be scaring him off. I'm going to turn his head. Oh, he's giving me a hard time. Oh, guys, I have another knot here. Wow. I thought I got them all. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. So we're gonna decide here. I see a few more knots there. Okay, are you okay? Are you are you hanging in there, honey? Can we go and do your belly now? From your belly. I'm gonna come in backwards. I want that to blend in nicely with where I already shaved. He's pulling. I don't know if you're seeing it, but he's really pulling right now. It's really hard on my arms. Okay, all right. He just won't, he doesn't want me to do this. <laughs> I gotta get him now, honey. Give me a second, give me a second. All right, Woo, we're done with the clipper. I know you don't like the sound of the clipper. Can I come in with my scissors now? Let's get scissoring so we can get this done. We're almost done, hun. Scissor time. And he's really doing a job on my, my nice little setup here. All right, I'm gonna get the scissoring done.
So when it comes to spring feet, I'm never too happy. Thought I'd slow this down a bit. And, uh, yeah, I usually pull everything to one side when it comes to your piece in general. And then just cut that one side and then pull everything on the other side and do the same thing cut on this side. But then I might just pull some of that up and take a little bit of it off. But I don't really need to take too much off here, seriously. It's just so curly. Ooh, all right. Popping his head down, popping his head down. Because if he does that, I have scissors in my hands and I am not interested in cutting him. Moving on. Dog keeps pulling the leg. So I come in and I lock that elbow here. It's pulling that way, so I'm pushing this way. No, correct them. Always important to correct the dog. So they're learning every time they come. If they come in, it's a chance for you to teach them what you will and will not take. Okay. He'll also teach you what he will and will not do. All right. Okay, calm yourself down, honey. There are no problems here. So lock the knee, the uh, elbow, to be able to work on your front foot. to mention here about my um, scissoring. Um, I always try to keep my scissor in an angle like this, a little bit angled, not flat. I don't want to end up catching the skin. Sometimes I'll have to if I have to come around and just, but in general if I'm quickly coming through like this, I prefer keeping it in, in an angle, a little bit of an angle. I don't know if you can see so this is flat and this is a little more angled, okay? Because then your blade comes out this way. So that's my two cents.
Okay, so we're almost done. We're moving on to the face. All right. Uh, is a little boy, right? And she would like him to have. I know. I'm not. I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking, and I'm. I'm in the way. Okay. So she'd like to have. She keeps a ponytail. There's a ponytail going on here. So we're going to do the ponytail. And I'm going to add, because she doesn't, she wanted to bring me a bowl. Shala. She would like Shala a bowl. So I'm going to move on. So he's not standing. Of course I dropped. Oh, right. It's a little tough. See what he's doing? I'm trying to get under there. No. No. We're almost done with room here. Stay there. Okay, so this isn't working. So I'm gonna have to come in and do it a different way. So I'm gonna come in and hold his head this way. Holding him up, I'm leaving my elbow on the table. I'm holding him like this behind each ear, leaving myself some space here so he's just like that. Okay? So, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna come in and cut some of that out with that underneath. So, when it doesn't work one way, we gotta come in another way. So since his tongue is always out, instead of just closing his mouth, <laughs> I'm gonna push his tongue back in to close his mouth afterwards. Because if you try to close his mouth, he might bite his mouth, his tongue. So if he sticks his tongue out, I push the tongue back in, close the mouth, come in quickly, because he's panting for a reason. He needs to get rid of that heat that he has inside of his body. So there you go. If he wants to pant again, he's free to do so. So I'm gonna come in and do one side, Take all of that out, all the way till behind the ear. I'm gonna come in and cut that later. Oh, there's some more knots there, wow. Okay, flip the ear back, will it stay? No, it won't stay. So, put this back with this. Try to hold it. And I'm gonna come in and get rid of all of this junk here. Here you go. 
See, all of that's gone. Come behind the ear. Careful not to cut the top, the top knot. I thought I got rid of all of these knots a while ago, guys. Usually all of my brushing is well done before I continue grooming. I guess, I guess it wasn't all finished. So I'm going to do the same technique as a while ago. I'm pulling up and out, just poking up and out, not pulling towards me. Up and out. Tap and lift, tap and lift, tap and lift. A light tap, not a stab. <laughs> a light tap. Look at all that coming out. Mm -hmm. There. You got it. So, this is where we were at. I'm going to hold his ear here and I'll come take all of that junk out here. All the way to the back of his ear there. I don't want that nodding up again. Which it probably will as it grows, but try to keep as much possible away. All right. So me and yes, I'm bouncing because I'm cutting and pulling out, pulling away. Just that's his top knot. Coming on the side here. I like to come in around and all the way up to the front of the ear, all the way to the side of the ear here. Let's come look at the ear, see what that looks like. This is the hard part. They don't always want to keep their heads up and they pull downwards. Push them back up. I just want all of this to be equal. All right. I'm gonna pop this up side here and come. A little bit of that. <laughs> you gotta eyeball it. All right, so he's sticking his tongue out because he wants to pant. He's not panting. I'm gonna hold his finger, hit his, <laughs> hold my fingers there. Cut all of that out in front. Come to the side. Poof that up a bit. Let's cut this. He's got a whole bunch of junk back right there. Careful for the top knot. And I'm going to cut all of this out. I definitely see more mats than I do get. I get a lot of gold. There. All done. All done. There. Okay. The front. It's all back. A lot of hair there, it's gotta go. All of that's gotta go. All of that. Right in front of the ear. Hey there, pet parents and grooming gurus. If you enjoyed my tail wagging transformations and want more tips to keep your furry friends looking fabulous, just hit that subscribe button. Remember, every click helps spread the love and lathers of grooming joy. Subscribe now and let's embark on this fluffy journey together.